If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. What we can do to solve part A is draw a free body diagram of the block labeled M2. There are only two forces acting on the block, the downward gravitational force of mg, and then the tension in the rope that's holding the block up. Now the block is in equilibrium, so we can set the magnitude of the tension force equal to the magnitude of the gravitational force. The mass of the block was given to us as one kilogram, so we can plug that in, and then of course g is 9.8. And then when we multiply those values, we get a tension force equal to 9.8 newtons. So this is the correct answer to part A. Now for part B, to solve for the horizontal force acting on the puck, we can note that the horizontal force is the tension in the string. That is indeed the force that's keeping the puck going around in a circular path. Now it might be difficult to see, but the tension in that string will be the same value that we just calculated in part A, because it's the same rope. If we remember that this tension was 9.8 newtons, that 9.8 newtons will come up through the little hole in the table and then remain in this rope right here. So in essence, the horizontal force that's acting on the puck is the same force as the tension. It's the centripetal force as well. So we can say for part B that the answer is 9.8 newtons. Now we know that the centripetal force is equal to mass times speed squared divided by the radius. So we can calculate the speed by first multiplying both sides of this equation by r, dividing both sides by the mass m, and then taking the square root of both sides. We can now plug in the known value of the radius, the centripetal force, which we said already was 9.8 newtons, and then the mass will be the mass of the puck, or the one that's labeled m1. And when we simplify that, we get a speed of approximately 6.3 meters per second. So this is indeed the correct answer to part C. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click that thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you're welcome to send in your own question to this email address and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.